So this YouTube channel has reached 3,000 subscribers already. And it started to get monetized also. Since doing videos and sharing my knowledge is just my hobby, so I have decided to donate all the earnings to the society. The earnings is not that much, but it is enough to buy 1,500 pieces of a face mask. So I'm asking you guys not to skip all the advertisements so that we can increase the earnings. All future earnings will still be donated, so I'm asking your help guys to please continue to support this channel. So for today's troubleshooting, we will be changing one evaporator motor of a Starcool unit. Just like what I have said from my previous vlog, the most common trouble for the Starcool unit is the evaporator fan motor and the frequency converter. Always ensure safety when you are working alone. And always isolate the power when working in a moving machinery. And always use proper tools as it can make your job faster and easier. So every river containers has two evaporator motors. And this evaporator motor number one is overheating. For the Starkle unit, the return sensor is located near to evaporator number one and the evaporator and suction temperature sensors are on the other side. This type of reefer, we just need to remove the two front Allen screw and loosen up the remaining back screw. So my practice is that I change the evaporator motor near to the reefer unit. That is why I used to bring the replacement motor on the side. Just like what I have said, you just need to remove the two front Allen screw and loosen up the remaining two at the back. So now we can slide out the evaporator fan motor. Now let's remove the locking screw. And we can now remove the impeller. Then remove the four locking bolts and transfer it to the new motor. Just make sure that you have the same specification of the replacement motor.
After putting the frame on the new motor, then it's time to put the impeller blade. Make sure that the blade is free and it is not touching the frame. And then put the locking bolt. Now it's time to put back the new motor. So we just need it to slide it in and lock first the two back bolt. And then check the blade if it is not touching anything. If everything is free, then we can now test the motor. Keep an eye on the rotation of the blade if it is correct or not. As you can see, the rotation is correct. So now, it's time to put back everything and prepare the malfunction report. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.